What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are showcasing a highly requested mod on this channel, which is Ice Rider Calyrex. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. All the likes on the channel, everybody who subscribes to the channel, and everybody who just tunes in and watches the videos. It really does go a long way. So thank you to everybody. But getting started with this team right here, we got Calyrex in that top left corner. And this Pokemon, like I said, it's been highly requested across my channel. Everyone was just like, yo, I want to see a Series 11 Calyrex team. So that's what we're bringing you guys. But this team also features the Mimikyu and the Choice Band Urshfu. And I cannot wait to showcase the Choice Band Urshfu. That thing hits like a truck. It's going to be a lot of fun to use. But back to what I was saying. Top left corner, we're getting started with the Ice Rider Calyrex. This thing has the As-1 ability and the weakness policy. Especially in this Dynamax format, this thing can get set up. It's pretty much GG. So this thing can double hit with Glacial Lance or you can Dynamax and just take out Pokemon left and right. But like I said, Glacial Lance for its first move, close combat and high horsepower for our coverage moves, and protect for our final move. Loving this move set on this Pokemon. Let's move on to the next. We got Mimikyu right next to him, and this Pokemon can set the team up for victory, especially because he's our Trick Room Mon right here. He's got Disguise, the Babiri Berry as his item, and then we got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Will O Wisp for burns on physical attackers, and then we got Taunt to Taunt opposing support mons, and Trick Room, you know, to set up the Trick Room. The one thing I would change about this Mimikyu is probably his item. I would rather give him the Methyl Herb because once he gets taunt it he really can't do anything so that mental herb kind of keeps him away from that but the berry berry is still pretty solid middle left is going to be the one and only instant work this pokemon's still phenomenal so good in every single aspect of vgc it's got intimidate on it for its ability assault best for its item and then the moveset is fake out for but snarl in u-turn i do like this moveset choice i just think i would change out u-turn for uh Parting Shot, Parting Shot's just so much better, you get that attack slash special attack drop, and you can pivot at the same time, so that is probably the only thing I would change on this Incineroar. Next Pokemon is the Tapu Fini, and this is a perfect moveset for Tapu Fini. I love the Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Protecting Calm Mind, it just works out so well. You can set up, you can deal mad damage with your Muddy Water and Moon Blast, and plus one of those moves is a double hitting move, which is phenomenal to have on your teams. We also have the Leftovers as the item, and the Misty Surge for its ability. Bottom left corner is going to be a heavy hitter for the squad, and that is going to be Choice Band Urshifu. Choice Band Urshifu is an absolute monster. It's like Choice Band Scissor. It just hits way too hard, and it can take Pokemon out at ridiculous HPs. It has Unseen Fist, so it can hit through Protects, and then it has Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Close Combat for Sab, and you turn a Pivot as it's a Choice Band Pokemon. It is great to have a Pivot move on a Choice Pokemon. Bottom right is our final Pokemon for the team, and that is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is phenomenal in any series that it's been in. It has Transistor, Magnet as its item, and then it has Thunderbolt, E-Web for speed control, Bolt switch to pivot, and do a decent amount of damage, and protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex and Choice Band Urshfu Series 11 team. Battle number one coming at you guys going up against a very, very strong Groudon Drought team that features Charizard, Venusaur, Incineroar, Regilecki, and Umbreon. We have to get off Trick Room. I feel like it's an absolute must to get off Trick Room, so I am going to lead the Mimikyu. Try to get that roll in here, and I'm trying to think of what he can do to kind of stop that. Hmm. What could he do to stop that? I don't think he can kill me. Unless he has double hitting moves. He does. But I could go in with Incineroar just to just to actually get that. So I am going to go in with the Incineroar. And I can eventually U-turn out. I can pivot out and bring in my uh my Calyrex, which could be good. And then final Pokemon on the squad. I'm thinking Urshfu might have to come in here. Urshfu can be an absolute beast. Or I could just go Regilecki and take speed control from there. But I feel like the Trick Room option is definitely our best thing. Dude, this team is so good that we're going up against. It is so good. It is such a pain going up against them. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win in battle number one and get started off strong. But, guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. If you guys could add anything or any one aspect to the next Pokemon game, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section down below. It can legit be anything. If you guys want Mega Evolutions back, if you guys want to add, like, trio typings where Pokemons can get three typings, if you guys want to add more evolutions, just let me know in the comment section down below. You guys have awesome ideas, so I'd love to hear you guys' answers. But uh, he's going to roll out with these guys right here. And I feel like just faking out... Ooh, does Umbreon learn Inner Focus? Let's see. Oh, it'll actually show me right here. Let's see. Let's see. He does give us the attack drop. Is Umbreon Inner Focus? It is. Okay, so Umbreon is Inner Focus here. We have to fake out onto the Incineroar now. So that is our option. I really want to fake out the Umbreon. But it's all good. We are going to pop a Trick Room here. And... Do I just go into a U-turn? I might just U-turn instead of faking out. I say I do that. I say I U-turn out here. 
If I can set up this trick room and you turn and get my Ice Rider Calyrex out here, that could be a lovely little turn. That could be a lovely turn here. Let's see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. I don't think Umbreon rocks taunt, does it? Usually, like, it might be able to learn it, but I, I feel like Umbreon's never use it. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we'll see what this guy does. He can't fake out my Mimikyu, which is huge. And he's trying to, like, find a way where he can, like, get around this. But I just think he's going to have to let Trick Room pop. This lovely little incident. Where we actually could have led the Ice Rider Cat, actually. That guy's going to fly through here. That's totally fine. He was outspeeding us anyways. Intimidate did come out first. And he's going to yawn up onto Mimis. Onto Mimi Mimis, which is totally fine. Jump cool with. Jump cool with Trick Room is going to pop here. And at this point, I think I just U turn out, right? I think U turn is definitely the play. And then we could just, uh, we just pop a taunt. We'll just pop a taunt here. Which I think is going to be the play. Just so we can't yawn or we can't really do much. And then we'll just U turn out of here. I do like that. I do like that turn. We are yawned and I would rather just taunt him up before he even gets a... Uh, or before he's even able to get off another yawn off on like a Pokemon like my Calyrex over here. Let's bring out the Calyrex. Bring him out here. He's going to get the Dynamax. He's going to get the Dynamax here. And I wonder what his Incineroar is going for. Maybe a parting shot. But maybe that would be overall Mimikyu. We shall see. Hopefully it's not on the Calyrex if he does go for it. My nerf pops out. No berries loud, which is huge. And he's going to U-turn. He's going to U-turn into Mimikyu. That's huge. That's fine by me. Mimikyu is going to go to sleep, though. And he might just come back in with uh, Incineroar. He might just hard swap into Incineroar just so he can get the Intimidate back out. Which, I mean, I'm fine with. I think I still Dynamax regardless and try to get off some damage. Or I could just Glacial Lance. We'll see who he brings out here. Could be the ground. It has to be Groudon and either Charizard or Venusaur. So, we'll see what he does. We shall see his plays. It's going to be the Groudon. It is going to be the Groudon. So, uh... Do we think he protects? Do I go for a Glacial Lance? What do I do? I'll just play. He's going to yawn. And we didn't taunt him. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Okay. So, he's just going to protect. That's a little tough. That is a little tough. Do I hard swap? I might hard swap my Calyrex out. I might hard swap my Calyrex out. That's tough news. That is super tough. I wish I had, like... I wish I had Tapu Fini on the squad. Tapu Fini could be huge. Uh, do I swap here? Hmm. I gotta swap. I really want to swap. Maybe try to get off a burn on this thing, but... Hmm, that's so tough. We we'll go for a Glacial Lance. He's definitely going to protect though, right? I see him protecting all day. This sort of Calyrex doesn't get off a hit, so I'm going to swap into Incineroar here. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. I think he does protect, so we have to swap. We have to swap. Dang it, man. I really wanted that uh, Taunt to come out before the yawn. Let's see what Groudon does. Nobody goes for it. Oh, I could be going for a Blade. Let's see. I just think he protects and waits for my uh, Sleep to go out, right? He's gonna go for a battle blade. He doesn't protect. Son of a biscuit. We're gonna be able to eat that one up. And is he going for blades here? Please don't go for blades. Thought he was gonna protect. He's gonna go for blades, man. Dang, dude. That might pick up double. Let's see. Cinnamon drops. Dude, that's so tough. That is so tough. Now, uh, now we get back out Calyrex. <laughs> now we get back out Calyrex. We Dynamax here. And we're gonna get Molin here. I think is rocking with the leftovers. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? I think it's two. I think it is two, and that's plenty enough time for our Calyrex to get out of here and get ripping. So, now let's roll out with him. Let's Dynamax him. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. That's one. No berries loud. No berries loud. Dude, that's tough. That's tough. The ground arm really didn't protect. This guy's really playing good. I'll give it to him all day. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? Two. Okay, two's fine. Uh, at this point, uh, do I just try to get off a of Willowis? I think on the Umbreon. Because we're going to change up the weather and we are going to get after this ground on. We're going to change up the weather and we're getting after this ground on, baby. Run it. Run it. Run it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. I could have went for a Glacial Lance, but I just think changing up the weather is a great call for me. And hopefully our Mimikyu can wake up. I would love to have my Mims, my Mims out and about all woken up. All woken up. But, dude, that... uh. That extra yawn really did us dirty because I would have Dynamax Calyrex that turn and had extra turns in the trick room and we could have been rolling out there. We could have been rolling strong. So here comes our Dynamax. He still has his in the back end. 
It's a solid battle. Real solid battle. He still has Incineroar. He still has uh, Umbreon. And then, like I said, he either has to have Venusaur or Charizard in the back. And if I had to guess, I think it is going to be uh, Venusaur. I think it is going to be V. But let's see how this one plays. He's going to end up protecting now. Yo, this, is this guy behind me? Is this guy, like, behind me? He's reading me so good. He's reading me so good. We're going to Hailstorm here. We are going to deal a little bit of damage. But we're not going to be able to kill him. So there's that we do change up weather so he might just hard swap here which i could definitely see happening so at this point i might just go into a max quake into the, the slot that he's going to swap into the ground on slot and make a read snarl is going to come out here which is fine which is totally fine it's super effective on mims on mimi mims and oh no it's super effective on my calories and that, that's that's really helpful I do dig that a lot I do dig that a lot and yes, Mimikyu wakes up, and we miss a burn? What you mean? Hate this game. Hate this game. Okay. So at this point, I am just going to max quick into the ground onslaught. And I could swap. I could swap, but... I could actually swap. Which might be our play. How many turns is left in this thing's taunt? There's one more turn left in taunt. But I could swap if I want to. So I'm thinking of just swapping into uh, Urshifu and then taking out the Groudon. Groudon might protect again. Well, I'm, th I'm thinking he swaps here, right? I'm thinking he swaps into Incineroar. My Mimikyu swapping. We're swapping into Urshifu here. He's either protecting or swapping. We're trying to get after his Groudon. He's wasting out my turns here. And he's withdrawing Groudon into the Incineroar. Show it to me, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Great call by me. Intimidate is going to pop here, but we have weak spots back, so we're still plus one. We should be able to take out Incineroar here. We should be able to take him out here. He thinks I'm probably going into a Hailstorm here, but we are not. We are indeed going into a Quake, and I think this should be able to take out Proc and our ability as well. So we should be able to get... Yep, there's kill. So now we get another attack. Boost. So huge, huge read by me there. Huge read by me. The Trick Room is now gone. We get that special defense boost. Um... Hmm. How do I play this one now? How do I play this one now? We still have Urshfu. Urshfu can hit. This thing can hit. I'm with him all day. Snarl is going to fly out here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Not doing a lot of damage on any of my Pokemon. And we're both physical attack. So, big old plays by us. Big old plays by us. Umbreon is going to take a Buffet. And I think I just drop a huge close combat into that thing now. Into the Umbreon. I think we just drop a close combat. And who do we think he's going to go into? Probably Groudon again. Change up the weather. Let's see. Brown shakes off taunt. Trick Room is now gone. So no more Trick Room, yo. This is a great first battle. This is a great first battle. He was definitely out reading me in the beginning there, but we just make a we just made a great play to kind of bring us back into this battle. But at this point, I think we just close combat into Umbreon and we use our last Dynamax move into this Charizard. Okay, so it is gonna be Charizard. Who I can see Dynamaxing and Hmm. I can see Dynamaxing and then just uh what's it called? Going into a wildfire. Which could definitely be the play. And what do I do from here? Do I Hailstorm on this thing? Yeah. I think we just Hailstorm. Because we might be able to eat up a Wildfire as we are plus one on Special Defense. And there is no Sun out. Or he could be Garden. I don't think he's Garden because Trick Room is gone. I think he just goes straight into the Wildfire. And I think Urshfu might be fastest on the field. We shall see. And I hope he is because if not, he can go into an Urshfu. Urshfu could really, could really do us dirty if he hits our Urshfu with it. But I'm thinking Urshfu, if Urshfu outspeeds, we can close combat one tap and then kind of get thriving here with this, with this uh, Hailstorm. He goes for a Wildfire. That's got to be over into uh, Kalax. Okay, Kalax should be able to eat this, right? Yeah. All day, baby. We eat that up all day. I am liking this turn so far. We are surrounded by Wildfire, which kind of stinks. That is ridiculously strong. But our close combat, Choice Band coming in hot here. It does not pick up the KO, yo. Umbreon is so bulky. He's super, super bulky. We do get our defense drop, and I wonder what he's going to do from here. Is he going to yawn on me? He is going to yawn on me. So he ends up yawning. We do get off a plus two hailstorm, which... This could pick up a KO. It's a strong move here. Let's see. How much damage are we doing here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good work, Calyrex. We could have hard swap. I'm, I'm thinking of hard swap here. I'm thinking of hard swap here. He is going to bring out the Groudon. Groudon is scary, bro. Groudon is definitely scary. Groudon might be able to win him this battle. Oh, uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? Wildfire's chipping. We could definitely sucker punch into that thing, which I think might be the play. Is sucker punch the play? Does Urshifu outspeed Groudon? That's my real question. 
Does Urshifu outspeed Groudon? I gotta see the speed. I gotta look at the speeds real quick. We're choosing to a close combat, which close combat is such a good amount. Of hmm. What is the play? What is the play, man? Because Blades is scary. Blades is looking real scary here. We can't go into Sucker Punch because we're choice. I gotta see the speeds. I gotta see the speed. I gotta see the speed. Let's see. 163, that should be able to outspeed a ground. Now, the real question is do we just go into a close combat? Hmm. Oh, I could swap in a Mimic you. What do we do here? Oh my god, this is so tough. I have to swap. I have to swap what's it called. Oh no, I want to swap my Calyrex. What did I hit on the Calyrex? Did I protect? What just happened? I thought, okay, that, that works. He, he's dead. But this blade's gonna be able to KO me. Uh-oh. I think I messed up. I think I messed up. What's Calyrex going for? Blades is coming in hot. That's gonna be able to pick up double KO, isn't it? Okay. We eat. And a close, oh, I hit close combat on him. That still works. Okay, that still works. I thought I was hitting close combat on Urshfu, and I locked in my second move. But hey, that still works. We win this battle. 1-0 to get this video started. I was so confused at the end of battle number one. Like, I thought I was using close combat with Urshfu, but I was actually using close combat with Ice Fire Calyrex, and it just threw me off. I had no idea what was going on, but luckily, it worked out for the best. Ice Rider Calyx was able to eat up Blades, and our close combat was able to finish off the ground, which gave us that win. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a G-Max Lapras team that also features Zacian, Thunderous, Landorus, Comfy, and Kartana. So he might definitely go into that uh, Comfy and... Comfy and what is that thing? The Lapras combo? I can definitely see that happening, and I might just go into Mimikyu and pop the Trick Room. Could be our play. Could be our play. Could indeed be our play. We might want to do. We might want to do here. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I think. Mimikyu into Calyrex. And then we could go into Urshifu and Regilecki. Which could be good. But then, like, if Trick Room's out and about, that doesn't really do good. That doesn't really do good for us. But I still really kind of want to Trick Room. Hmm. Hmm. What is the play? What is the play? I say we just go into, yeah, no, let's just do that, let's just do that, let's just do what I said. Really, uh, yeah, 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 we're doing what we said, we have five seconds left, we gotta lock in some picks, let's lock it down, let's get it after, I probably should have brought in my Incineroar, because he does have Kartana, Landris, and Zassoon, but, we going for it, we going for it, another thing is, guys, if you guys are not subscribe to this channel or do not have the notification turn on make sure you guys turn them on because brilliant diamond and shining pro comes out in a week and a half and i'm going to be doing tons of content on that game we're going to be doing a playthrough over here on the youtube channel you're going to be doing guides where to catch every single pokemon where to get all the tms all that good stuff and also on my twitch page if you guys are not following that link is down in the description below and name is right below my face cam we're going to be doing lots of hours of live stream over for that game so make sure you guys are followed over there turn on those notifications so you know when i go live but he's going to lead these two. And then these two are annoying. These two are very annoying. So he could proc weakness policy turn one, which I can definitely see happening. Uh, let me just go into a trick room here. And protect the counter. All right, protect Calyrex. Go into the trick room. That's going to be your play. That is going to be our lovely little play here. Let's see how this one plays out. But yo, that last battle was really good. That was really good. It was a solid battle. Luckily, my Calyrex was able to dump on that Charizard. Which is awesome. It was just great all around. Which is great all around. And then that Umbreon was a pain. I should have took it out a lot earlier. But I thought my one choice band close combat could take it out. But that thing is beef. It is beefy. He was able to soak that up and survive another turn. Then he was yawning on me, doing all this crazy stuff. Being annoying. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. And I think he might. I'm, I'm, if I had to guess, he's going to proc weak this monster, right? Hopefully he's not doubling down into my uh, my Mimikyu. Because that, that could be real troublesome. That could be really troublesome. Let's see what else. Go into my Calyrex slot. Go into my Calyrex slot. We're protecting them for a reason. Let's see. That coming out from Cali. Yo. It's a net shield all day. And he's going to go into a max resonance. Oh, he's countering my trick room. You son of a biscuit. This dude, this son of a biscuit. He just countered my trick room. 
This guy just outplayed me. He outplayed me. He's countering my trick room. Watch this. Because Kafka usually goes first. He's reading that I'm going in the trick room. So he's going to trick him on his own. Ah! This dude! This dude! <laughs> outplaying me hard. Oh my lord. Come on, man. Come on. Alright. Now I'm going to outplay him. Now I'm going to outplay him. Now what do I do? Do I, do I swap you? Do I taunt? Taunt Mimic or Confi? I think we're going to taunt Confi here. Mm -mm. This is tough. He's going to take out Mimic you. He's going to take out Mimic you. E. This is tough. We're going to save our Dynamax for back end. I'll go for a Glacial Lance here. Oh my lord. This guy. This guy is outplaying me. Giga Drain's going to come through here. And we probably should have popped the trick room. He is going to take out Mimic you now. Right? He's got to be going after Mims. He's got to be going after Mims. Yeah, Sneak's going to fly through here. I'm going to hit up on this thing. Slowly chip some damage off on that thing. And he's going to go for a guy. That's got to be in the Mimic you, right? He's going to be like, hey, we're not allowed to let this thing get off the trick room. And now he goes into Calyx. I could have popped the trick room. I could have popped the trick room. I could have popped the trick room. Get out of my face. I'm gonna send this this way. Deal some damage. That is rough news. I could have popped the trick room. Do I go for a trick room now? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Alright, uh. Hmm. Now there's no point of popping the trick room anymore. We save our Dynamax for another Pokemon here. Guess we're just going to a Shadow Sneak here. And, uh, do I go into close combat? Yeah, might as well. Try to go off as much damage as we can onto the Lapras. Both these Pokemon are gonna die here, so. It is all good. His Dynamax is going to be over after this, and I'll take that all day. He's going to Giga Drain, and we should be able to eat up that Giga Drain. Yeah. We're able to eat up, eat up the, on the Giga Drain. Hopefully, he's going into the Max Geyser onto the, uh, onto the Confi. Well, not the Confi, onto my Mimikyu. Just so my Calyx can get off one last close combat. One last move, which would be nice. And his Dynamax turns are over. So, I can, uh, uh I think I'm going to Dynamax my Regilancti. I think that might be my play. Because Mimikyu's going to go down here. This guy reads me hard early on. We are going to be able to get off a nice lovely little close combat here. Oh, send it. Dealing some damage, but Lapras is an absolute tank. We could be going into a... Uh, he could be going into the... What's it called? He could be going into a Floral Healing or Protect. Or he could swap... Does he have Landorus on this team? Which I don't like one. Landorus, Landorus could be a problem. But we have the Dynamax for like we have the Dynamax Regilecki, right? He has Landers. He does. So I can see him swapping into Landers on the Lapras slot. So in that case, my first Max Lightning is going to be going into the Confi slot. Because A, he could protect. And B, he could, uh... And B, he could, uh, per uh swap. So we go into Glacial Lance. We'll go into over here. That place was smart. Hopefully... Or I'm, I'm actually kind of hoping he's, he swaps here. Because if he swaps, Confi's going to go down here. Unless he uses, like, Giga Drain. But he doesn't swap. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. That's fine. I think he might. I'm thinking he might just go for protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. Maybe I should have close combat because he could just hydro pump. Ooh, that's scary. That is scary. So we're kind of we're kind of hoping he goes into protect. Kind of hoping he goes into protect. Let's see what your play is, Lappers. The Alice switch. Uh, okay. Watch this, yo. It makes me look like I read the Alice switch. This dude's upset now. This dude's upset. <laughs> it makes me look so good. Even though that wasn't even my thought process. But hey, we take those all day. Big old Max Lightning takes out the Lapras. Look at me. Look how smart I am. Reading the Alice, which is like that. All day, baby. All day. <laughs> wasn't even our thought process. But yo, we take those all day. And now our Glacial Lance. Possibly takes this thing out. Right? Through the Roar Bell? I think it does take this thing out. Let's see. Take it out, please. Yes, sir. Run it up. So now Calyrex is posing a decent threat with his uh, plus one on the attack board. Loving it so much. We have two more turns left in Dynamax. And now we get to see his final two Pokemon with Choice Band Urshfu in the back. Who I can choice into Sucker Punch. If need be. If need be. Zacian is going to fly out here. That is one scary mod. And I think he can take me out in one shot. <laughs> that is one scary mod. The Interpret Sword is going to fly. Mm. Don't like this one bit, man. I don't like this, dude. I do not like this. I could guard. 
I could guard, but hmm. much like he does outspeed, you know that for a fact. We are gonna go into the max lightning or going to you. I am gonna go for the glacial lance. Let's see, this is tough. The behemoth blade could take me out, but I feel like we outspeed. I think we outspeed and an EQ, I feel like an EQ or a high horsepower could take me out as well. He's gonna protect his Ascian. Okay. And is he going for an EQ? He's gotta be going for an EQ, right? Lightning is still gonna fly through here, chip away some damage. And hopefully he's just going for high horsepower, because if I can get off this glacial lance, that could be big, but it's gotta be EQ. EQ flies through here. Hmm. That's tough. Let's see how this one plays out. Eat up, Reggie. Imagine like he eats. That's a big eat for Regilecki. That is a big, big eat for Regilecki. And their Aurora Veil's gone. So I'm thinking if Max Lightning could take out here, if Max Lightning can take out here, this could be huge. And the real question is, who do I go into? I definitely got a Max Lightning him. And what move do I choice into? Do I choice to a Wicked Blow? Or do I choice to a Close Combat? I think I have the choice to a wicked blow here into the Lando slot. And we need Max Lightning to do a good amount of damage here. Max Lightning's gonna fly. Give me the KO. You got the magnet. You got the magnet. Get him out of here. Yo, Regilecki. Regilecki coming in clutch. Coming in clutch, baby. Yes, sir. Wicked blow is gonna fly through here. We got speed. That's gonna be GG's. That is gonna be GG's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get a crit because it's guaranteed. Oh, yeah. EQ pops. But we outspeed. So that is game. Another Wicked Blow is going to be able to fly through here. 2 and oh, yo. What a battle here as well. He definitely outplayed me in the beginning. Outplayed me so hard with that Trick Room. But we played this one perfectly. Got our Regilecki out there. And Dynamax him at the perfect time. And you know what came in clutch? Him him ally switching. And we killed the Pokemon. But this dude turned off his console air for that one. That's GG's. Let's hop to our third. Look for that perfect record. It's official. This Ice Rider Calyrex teams make people turn off their switch and break it. We just proved that in the last battle, but hey, we're going up against a Groudon team in our third and final battle. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves another win and grab ourselves a perfect record, but it's going to be looking tough. We were able to do it in the first battle, so maybe we can go on a repeat. Maybe we can go on a repeat. I could go Trick Room here, but I think that it's not the play. I think maybe Incineroar might be a great lead here. Get out Incineroar, and I could go in the Choice Band Urshfu, but at the same time, if he does go into that, uh, if he does go into that Venusaur, that could be tough Venusaur. So I think we just go into these two here as a lead, and then we go Urshfu and Tapu Fini in the back end. I just think that's a, I think I just think that's a fine play. I just think that's a fine play. And our Dynamax Pokemon could be our Urshfu. He does have G Max on him, or it could be Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is actually really good in Dynamax form. Considering we could change up weather that way, make it rain. Rain could really benefit us and hurt his team. But we'll see how this one plays out. But yo, brilliant diamond and shining pearl. I'm so excited for it. I've been looking up a bunch of content on it, watching all the leaks, watching all that good stuff, and still playing out my team because I do not know what I want to use. I don't even know what starter I want to use. I, I love Infernate, but I do not want to use him. I want to use Empoleon or uh, Torterra in my playthrough. But yo, look at this leads. Yo, we got a little mirror matchup. Look at the Regis Lecky just hopping around. <laughs> they getting after it. They getting after it, and then are just doing a little wobble. <laughs> Um, who's, uh, so his Incineroar is faster than mine, because his Intimidate came out first. Unless it was a speed tie, but I just think his Incineroar is faster. And at this point, do I fake out? Do I Snarl? Do I Flare Blitz? I think I fake out. He's gonna fake out me, I'm gonna fake out him. Go protect Reggie. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for an E-Web, because if we can get off an E-Web, we can get off an E-Web. Let's see how this one plays out. He fakes out my Incineroar during that waste out turn. He protects him. Okay. Nice little turn by him. And who's he faking out? My Incineroar? Nope. He fakes out my Reggie. And he does some damage towards my Reggie. You son of a biscuit. <laughs> you son of a biscuit. Don't you dare touch my Reggie like that ever again. Um, I could U-turn. I could flip it out. Uh, which I think I am going to do here. Or I could just take out his Regilecki. Might be our better play. Our better option here. We're going to an E-Web just to start slowing down this Pokemon. Whose E-Web came out first? Is that mine? Who dodged it? Who dodged attack? This Regilecki dodged my E-Web. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We get speed drop on him. He's going to bolt switch out. And who is going to take this Flare Blitz? Who is taking this Flare Blitz? Please show me somebody who can't really take this Flare Blitz. <laughs> Venusaur, hopefully. That would be awesome. He's going to send out... Brown. Okay. And it's okay. The, the, the drought makes it do a little bit more damage here. 
Uh, definitely got to swap out the Legend Life because he is going to go for that ground. He is going to go for that ground move next. We are going to be able to Floyd Blitz up on this thing. Chip up some damage, take some recoil, but dude, that ground move is going to dump on me, man. I like one bit. This thing's going to turn out. Oh, yo, what a play by him. The double switch, the double pivot. Now he's going to go into his combo of Groudon and either Venusaur or Charizard. So what a play by him. What a play by him. And dude, he could just blades on me, so I'm like forced to swap. Oh, no, he brings back out Red Hmm. Mm. Mm. Do I swap into Finny here? We know Blade is coming out, or do we just let one of my Pokemon go down here? What do I do? It's so tough, man. I think we just let our uh, Incineroar go down here. That's that's tough, dude. We have we have to let something happen. I'm gonna protect here, then I'm gonna maybe try to get out my top of here in Dynamax. We'll see, how, we'll see how this one plays out. Because he has to be going for Blades, right? He has to be going for Blades. Volt Switch is going to pop out here. He is going to pivot. And he's going to go back in Incineroar, I think. Let's see. She was just playing, playing me good, dude. This dude is playing me good. Let's see who he goes into. Going to not Incineroar. It is Incineroar. God dang it, man. I think Blades just flies out here and takes me out anyway. This round should be able to outspeed Incineroar, right? We shall see. Yep, Blades come out. Miss my Incineroar. Miss him. Miss him. It does, but that really doesn't do anything for us because now we just lose both our Pokemon in the next turn. I kind of needed him to die there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll just see how this one plays out. He's going to pick up the double KO easily. Um, At this point, he's just going to fake me out. And I don't know what to do. I, I seriously have no idea what to do. I don't want to swap and take a big Blades from uh, someone. Do I Thunderbolt? Do I slow down that Incineroar? Do I e web on him? I think e web slowing him down is probably your best bet. But I can see him U turning out. E web's gonna fly, it's not gonna affect the Groudon, and it is just going to slow down this. Is Blade's gonna fly here again. Can you miss my Incineroar again? <laughs> or miss both my Pokemon? Just buy me turns. Blades comes out, connects to both. That's double kill. That's an easy double kill. Okay, dude, we're sick. Dude, this is a tough spot. This is a tough spot. Um, So we have Ursu, we have Tapu Fini. Uh. Hmm. What was this thing going to go for? Will it even say his move? I don't know if it will say his move. It was going for a U-turn. So it's trying to pivot out here. We just slow down the instant world. We have to bring out both these guys. Which is, I don't mind. I don't mind. I could choice band into whatever move I want. I could change up weather if I want as well. Could be our play. Finny is out on the board, baby. And I think Finny is going to be a Dynamax one. I just th think Finny's an absolute must in Dynamax. Do I, do I choice into a close combat? Missy Surge is out. Missy Surge is out and about. And I think I just close combat into... Hmm. Who do I want to do? I want to go into here. He does have Intimidate. I think I just punch up on this slot. And I just Dynamax and go for it. Actually, I, mm, I do not have the attack. Okay, so we're just going to go in here. I don't think this is going to KO here, but the weather change is so big for us. I just think we have to go into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have to change the weather. It's our last option. But, yo, you guys know the rules on the channel. There's two rules on this channel. One is we don't go 0-3. We already checked that one off because we won our first two battles. And the second one is we do not get swept. So we cannot get swept here or I have to give away my channel. That's my rule. That's my rule. Once I get swept or go 0-3, my channel gets to leave. So... We're not letting that happen today. We're not letting that happen today. Close combat's gonna fly through here. And we did not get swept. Loving it. I'm loving it. Beautiful. Dope. Awesome. Cool. Dope. My channel survives another day. <laughs> My channel survives another video for you guys. Let's see what his plan is. Blade's gonna fly through here. Can you eat that up? He does. He does. Urshfu eats that up. And a geyser is gonna fly through here, which is phenomenal. But I think he brings out Medjolaki, right? Mm, we don't pick up the cow. Mmm. We do not pick up the KO. We do not pick up the KO. But I think he brings out much like we do not have protect on him. We do not have protect. The close combat should be able to take out that ground on. If we can connect with it. Our leftovers is popping. Getting a little bit of leftovers action on us. And he brings out Regilecki, that will kill my Urshifu. And I think he is going to do that. Let's see. Just bring out Reggie. He just bring out Reggie Reggie. 
In that case, do I target down onto the Regilek here? Or do I target down on the Groudon? I say we take out Groudon. We mm, probably should target the Regilek here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Do we have Gonna Fly? Because he might swap the Groudon. That's why I'm targeting the Groudon slot. Oh, he Dynamax and Reggie. He Dynamax and Reggie. He's Dynamax and Reggie. So that's gonna go after my Finny. And Finny might be able to eat up a Lightning. It's gonna be great. Oh, I definitely should have went for the guys on the run. Definitely should have went for the geyser because we know that this close combat isn't gonna take out. Well, we could max guard next turn, but he is gonna blade. Let's see how this one plays out. Lightning's gonna fly through here into Finny. Finny, I think, eats this up, right? No, he does not. That's GG's. That is GG's. I think dumped on me. Dude, imagine like he hits so hard all the times, but hey, we didn't get swap or sw swapped. We didn't get sweeped over here. Which is a good, which is a good thing. I get to keep my channel. We were able to take out Instant War. And I was hoping Tapu Finny could have ate that up because then we could have got off close combat. A geyser could have taken out Groudon. We could have got rolling from there. But uh, there goes a close combat that would have taken out him. We would have been thrived. We would have been doing pretty well. But that's going to be GG's here. His Regilecki outspeeds our defense is minus two. So I'm just going to run this next battle. Or run this next turn. But I want to see who his final Pokemon is. It's got to be Venusaur Charge. Right? I'm going to say Venusaur. Charizard. Dang, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Jeans was wrong. Dude, that could have been really good for us. That could have been really good for us. Maybe I should have guarded it. But it's all good. We're gonna run this one. 2 and 1 for today's video. Absolutely dominated. And I love this Ice Rider Calyrex team. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, Ice Rider Calyrex was highly requested on the channel. So hopefully I prevailed for you guys, brought you guys a good team, and got the showcases to its fullest potential. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.